It's an early start for the University of Salford Rowers. They're training for the White Rosehead Race, which takes place on the River Ouse in York. This is their toughest challenge this year. It's, uh, it's a tough race. We're probably, I think we're the smallest university club in the Northwest. So uh, it's a tough race for us. We're essentially the underdogs, but we know we can beat a lot of the crews there. Some big teams there like University of Manchester and University of York, and they're the ones that we want to try and at least get close to. In the lead up to the race, we do something called tapering, which is uh, in the week before the race, we start to reduce it. But before the tapering stage of the race, we tend to train about 10 times a week, about four sessions on the water and the rest in the gym or in circuit training. The most experienced are the senior men's eight crew, but the Salford Club also has a senior women's four and two fresher teams consistent of men and women. However, even with all this training, the main key to a good team is commitment and dedication. It's generally a university sport, so the average length of a university um, degree is three years. Um, so we've got a very short period of time. Um, and if you think about it, but what the university in terms of semesters are, like at one year is really probably like six months of actual like time. So it's a very, very short time to get people from little or no experience on the water to racing. The White Rose Head Race is in its fifth year. Hosted by the University of York, it is for universities only. And even though it's run in its own rules, a presence by British rowing is vital. Well, in fact, British rowing involvement is, is reasonably minimal. It's a competition which is run under British University uh, College Sports uh, rules, so not under British rowing rules. But um, I like to help the organisers to put on a good show and make sure they're well organised and, uh, and they, they run a professional, uh, professional event. Um, that's the whole idea, really, of the, the White Rose Head. Being a head race, it means the boats start at different times. Therefore, crews only find out results a few hours after races have finished and times have been accrued. But first, there's the small matter of putting a couple of 80-foot boats together when the teams arrive in York. Yeah. Or if it leaks, yeah. Freshers say it begins first, and they're also the first to break the cold temperatures in their competition gear. Does it make a difference when it's this temperature? Um, well, it's freezing, so... I'd say once you get out there, it's warm. It'll yeah, once you start, anyway. warm up. Like in the first few minutes, it's just warm anyway, so... But there's no time to think about it, as the cock swaying, or simply cocks, keeps everyone in check. Um, so we go through the race plan and the race warm-up, and then on the race down, it'll pretty much just be me screaming as loud as I can at them. Depending the on as you come through the bridges, I want really, really big push off of them. You know how to do three bridges, you've done all this before. And smash it. I want you absolutely dying on the line. Go, ten strokes, push through. Big legs on, big legs on. Strong Soon after, the senior women's four and the women's freshers finish too. All teams have pushed themselves to the max. Now, as they pack up, they can only wait to see if their hard work has paid off. Yeah, we're pretty well. Um, we overtook two crews. Uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, the crew seemed pretty pleased with, with the results, I think, and uh, it felt quite light, which is good for Rowan. It felt like uh, it felt almost effortless, but at the same time tiring, which is a strange contradiction, but it's how you want it to feel, really. The results are in, and as predicted, the might of Manchester, Liverpool and York proved too powerful for the Salford team, but they're still happy with their performance. Yeah, it's pretty good, and with the teams that beat us, they all had second teams out as well, didn't they? We're only yeah. one second behind Sheffield, and then, which is really annoying, actually. Yeah, just one second. One second behind Sheffield, and 12 behind Leeds, which only 12 seconds is quite a lot. It's, um, it's not insurmountable. So what's next for the Salford club? Well, it's, it's frustrating for us because we haven't got a race for a long time, and especially one in the eight. So I think our next objective, the next aim that we really want to get is really it's head of the river. It's a huge race down in London. It usually happens the same time as Cambridge Oxford boat race. And it's pretty, it's got all the clubs and unis in the country in one race. A positive attitude from a positive team. The Salford Rowers may be a small club in comparison to their local rivals, but sometimes being the underdog can work in your favour. And with the persistence and dedication shown by these athletes, there's no reason why they can't come out on top this time Three, next year. Two, one.